This old truck's name is Black Betty, and she's got some leaking transmission cooler lines. See, here's where they connect to the transmission, and those actually look okay, but the other side's leaking. Look how these things are routed over the axle there. That's a tight fit. Then you come up over here. These are the lines coming up into the cooler over here and up into the radiator over there. Not all of these Silverados are going to have the auxiliary cooler up here, but the book calls for about 5.2 hours of labor to replace all these. Transmission fluid comes from the transmission into the bottom of the radiator, top of the radiator, the cooler, and then cooler back of the transmission. We'll do it in about three hours. Let's scoot in here to see what we got. The lines on the left are the ones that connect directly to the transmission. There's a part number there if you need it. And then this shorter line is the one that goes from the radiator to the auxiliary cooler. And there's that part number if you need it. Don't forget to pick up some Dexron 6 automatic transmission fluid. AC Delco flavor, or any flavor. And then, scoot in here and pop the hood. We're going to need to get in here to get these lines out. I'll show you why. Scoot around to the passenger side and there's the bottom line and the top line in the radiator and then if you get your eyes in here you can gander the transmission cooler is in there all right now we know where everything is a bunch of little push tabs on this piece of plastic trim cover so pop those up with the screwdriver the middle part and then get onto the bigger part and pop it all the way out Good. and then yeah, ha, get rid of that piece come back in you got some bolts here you got to take out there's four of them, if I remember. Yep. There they are. All four. Almost done with this grill. We just got to get these little clips out. And then you just pull the grill all the way out. It makes crazy noises, but you won't break anything. Or maybe you will. Set the grill down off to the side somewhere where the dogs can get to it. This here is Scout. A shop dog. He wants to play. Come on now, Scout. There you go. Yep. Yeah. Well, he didn't get. Scoot in here to this auxiliary cooler for the transmission. This is after the radiator. And the transmission fluid goes directly from this cooler back to the transmission. You got an air dam down here and you got little clips. You can try to get them with a scraper tool or pry bar, but you're going to end up probably breaking them, kind of like I did here. Or you can use the right tool, special little set of pliers. Get them out just like that and then they stay intact. Your choice. Either way, hold that on back because you're gonna wanna get a little drain pan under these lines before you pull them all the way. And these lines come off, they got a little plastic cover and then a metal clip in there. You use a little screwdriver and a pick, push the metal clip out a little bit, and then get your pick and just ease it on out. Don't let it go flying now, because these things get lost in a hurry. You can buy extras, though. Drain pan underneath, and then a funnel. This isn't really necessary, but we were doing our best to keep the shop floor clean. And if you've seen our other videos, you know that we rarely do that. Get that under there and then pull the line off. Oh. Eh, that one didn't really have any fluid in it. And then go on to this side here. Now this is the side that returns all the way back to the transmission. Same kind of deal. Just get your little pick in there. Slide that clip out. and Don't lose it now. Put it somewhere safe where you won't forget it. Where did I put that? Oh well. Then get back in here and sometimes these lines are... Come on now! Come on now! Help. Sometimes they give you some trouble, but there you go. Pop them out of the clip that holds them to that front radiator support. And then... You guessed it. Pull them on out of the radiator. This is that top line. Goes to the cooler. Clip out. And the bottom line there. 
This is the line directly from the transmission to the radiator. And the top and bottom lines both have these little 10 millimeter bolts holding them into the radiator support there and you just take those out. It stays with the line. This is the bottom one. Once again, just stays with the line there. Pull that bottom line out. Yeah, there it is. A little bit of fluid, not too bad. And then we're gonna go ahead and get the truck a little higher so we can get under there with the creeper. Makes life easier. But I like to use jack stands because the truck falling on your face is a bad mm. idea. Here's the lines in the transmission. There's a little, I think it's a 13 millimeter bolt. Pretty sure it's a 13. You just take that out and then pop these on out there and a little bit more fluid comes out of those lines. A couple more clips that hold the lines in place to the transmission bell housing, so pop them out of there. We're almost done with this job. We're halfway. They gotta scoot these lines, they gotta go backwards. So we went into a time lapse here because we had to finagle them. Ended up finding out you get them back a little ways, you can get one all the way out and then get the other one all the way out. You could do this yourself, but it really does help to have a buddy with you. I had Dale with me today. The one comes out from the cooler to the radiator pretty easy. That's that short line. Not too bad. And before you put these back in, good idea to cover them with a plastic bag and some painter's tape. That way you don't get any crud or gunk into your line before you hook it up. That would really ruin your day. So, cover all the open ends. Painter's tape and zip locks. What do you guys use? And back into our time lapse because Dale's going to feed me these lines again and the reason we had to go into a time lapse is because you have to finagle and fish and push and twist and all kind of stuff. But you know what? With a little bit of Maybe even so profanities and such. You can get these things scooted on over that front axle and into position. Just don't damage them now. You don't want to do this again. Alright. Just like that, we're done. Time lapse is like a montage. Makes things look easier. Put these lines back in. Here's the return line from the cooler to the transmission. Line first, then the clip. It was a little easier on these to do it that way. And that other line that comes from the transmission feeds the radiator directly. That's that lower hose. So push that one in. And then grab your little shorter hose that goes from the top of the radiator to the other side of that cooler. Get it into position up top. And then just kind of let it hang because you'll hook up the cooler side first. It's easier. Pop the line in. Make sure that little clip gets back in there. Plastic piece for safety. And the top line. There we go. Plastic clip for safety. Don't forget to add your fluid because you lost a little bit. Check it, make sure the level's doing just fine. It won't, so add some more until you're doing good. If you added too much, well, that's gonna suck. But there's ways to drain it. Rev it up a little bit. And then give her some beans. On the low side. Go back to checking it again. One side drags. These sticks have a hot and cold side. Make sure you get it hot though, it's more accurate. And then double check for leaks. No, no leaks over there. That's looking pretty good. Scoot over to these other lines. Look how nice they look in there. And when you're checking fluid, make sure you're going into all the gears, park to reverse to neutral to drive. And if you got the manual function, might as well throw it down into the M. You won't be able to shift though. And then just scoot on back. Drive, neutral, reverse, and park. And by this point in the video, you're almost done with this job. That's gotta feel pretty good. Shop dogs are about done with it, so we'll put it all back together here. Grill goes back on there. Scout was our camera dog. Good boy, Scout. And that little piece that I hurled over there. Fortunately, it didn't crack. That was lucky. Lower the truck on down. Only one more thing to do here, guys and gals. Back the truck on out of here, because we're going to go for a road test. Everything checked out on our end, and... This worked out the way it should have. Hope you enjoyed this video and it helped you out. You can do these lines yourself in your garage and save you all kinds of money versus the Steelership. So don't forget to subscribe. We'll show you some more stuff.
and throw some comments down there and tell us what you think.